Yeah, researchers with MIT, by the way, have discovered something fascinating while they were studying the sounds of sperm whales, that their language is much more developed than originally thought. The project to decode the so-called sperm whale phonetic alphabet, it included members of the MIT Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Laboratory and Project Cetacean Translation Initiative. Yeah, that's a mouthful, isn't it? it? Is. <laughs> Pr Pratusha Sharma is a PhD student in computer science and artificial intelligence with MIT. I spoke with her about their work and what it could mean. I think I was just like very curious to see uh, like how, like what kinds of things do um, like whales choose to even communicate about and how does that enable different kinds of behaviors. So to me it was like, you know, a robot but a biological robot and like trying to understand like what kind of solutions arise in nature. And you learned something fairly surprising, I think, to, to most people, that um, their communication is much more involved. In your own words, how would you explain what, what you have learned? What we knew was that uh, people believe that uh, their calls, um, there were like 21 distinct type of calls that they're capable of producing. And more or less, they kind of repeat each other, repeat the same call over and over again. And one of the reasons for like this belief is that uh, the calls were kind of studied uh, out of their context. So people would collect all of these whale calls, right? And then like look at these calls in isolation from the rest of the context. Once researchers started including that context and listening to conversations in whole, they found four elements included in the clicking sounds made by whales or codas, including rhythm and tempo. They were using emphasis. Ever so often, like on top of the existing packet of clicks, whales would produce an extra click, right? And these whales are very, very like, you know, precise with how they place these clicks. So why would they just produce this one-off click randomly, right? And then we started to look a little deeper and then we realized how this one-off click, which we call ornament, occurred more towards like the beginning and ends of conversations and at critical points of tone change which then led researchers to recognize that whales may be using a phonetic alphabet. Whales are able to independently vary aspects of their calls. And maybe the communication system that results from it is actually a combinatorial coding system. Like, you know, for example, in humans, like there's the uh, alphabets or like sounds, for example, it sounds like b, uh, n, like they combine to form words like banana, and then you can say sentences like, you know, the banana is on the table, which allows you to index into a space of possible meanings. From what you've learned, do you think, are we closer to actually understanding what whales are, are communicating? So I think what we know now is uh, how, what aspects of their communication system can they intentionally control? And like what we found is now, A, the, they're able to control a lot more features, as a result, the expressivity of the communication system is a lot larger. So now we understand how should we even represent this communication system in the first place. Next, I think the question about like meaning, right? Like, so what is it that they're talking about? Uh, so that is something we're looking at like next, trying to see how these calls get sequenced together and what kinds of meanings they choose to encode. But we don't know anything about that yet. And that uh, requires looking at the behavior in conjunction with the sounds. What does this mean for for the future, for future research of whales or, or better protection for whales? Humans always like to think that they were unique and special in more ways than one. I think as we learn more about other biological systems or other systems that we share the plant, like other animals and plants that we share the planet with, like we just like the ill deep in our understanding and probably bring in a little more of humility. I liked that part the best um, mm. because once you realize that these animals have their whole communication system, they have their own language with each other, then it kind of, right, then it's like, mm. well, okay, maybe we're not so smart. Not as smart we're as we think we are. We're we not, think yeah, we are. Right. There's more common ground and there's differences in everything. We just don't understand yeah. it yet. You can learn so much more about this research, by the way, on our website or our New Center main app.